Rise in COVID cases, attention is back on schools as districts finalize plans for the fall. The American Academy of Pediatrics releasing new recommendations this morning, urging all school age children to wear a mask in class, even if they're vaccinated. But as Katrin ASAP explains, decisions are still being made and bringing back masks, not that easy, Katrin. She's live at LRSD with more. Yeah, Laura, exactly. It isn't that easy, and that's because the summertime spike is causing school districts to take a second look at their plans for the fall. It all has to do with masks. Recent legislation passed in the spring prohibits mask mandates at the state and local level. Those include public schools. Now people are wondering what classes will look like this fall and what parents have to say about it. As kids gather their pencils and planners for another school year, many are wondering if these will be part of the uniform. Really, all we can do is recommend. Superintendent Mike Poor with the Little Rock School District has been working on the new semester. But with COVID cases on the rise, not everything will be back to normal. I think we all probably felt like going into the fall we were going to have like a, a different experience, but I don't think that's our reality. Things like social distancing and hand sanitizers will make a second appearance. But Little Rock isn't alone. We spoke with five school districts in central Arkansas, all of which are still finalizing their plans. Three said they were waiting on CDC guidelines to make any final decisions. North Little Rock will have masks optional. And as for poor, he's encouraging precautions, but it's up to the parents. We know we're going to push vaccines. We know we're going to do everything we can to encourage people to wear masks. For families like the Nicholsons, I think that's a good idea. They're glad the mandate's over, with parents able to choose what their kids wear to school. I didn't really like the idea of him having to wear it, um, but I'm glad that I, we have the option now. With both vaccinations and masks now up to individual families, I knew they were wearing them at recess, and I don't really feel like that's okay. School officials are doing everything on their end to stop the spread and hope families can work together to keep the school year safe. Now, Poor has also said those who don't wish to attend in person can continue to do the district's virtual learning option. They're also pushing vaccinations, hoping to hold events in the future to get families and students vaccinated and incentives to raise the vaccination rate among its staff. Reporting in front of the Little Rock School District, I'm Katrin Asaf. Back to you. Katrin, thank you. Still ahead.